Hey everybody, my name's Kyle, and I'm about to embark on a 10-week trip to Japan. Uh, let's just get right into it. A little bit of background about me, if you don't know who I am. I am a junior, studying at Temple University, and I've been given the opportunity to go to TUJ for the summer to study for their summer semester, which will take 10 weeks. I can't express how much I'm looking forward to this. Uh, this trip will be the first time for me that I've ever left the United States, certainly the longest flight that I've been on, just setting a lot of firsts, and with a 10-week trip, it is a little daunting, just a little bit. Basically finished packing already, it's just all starting to set in. I've been trying to pack as light as possible, a uh, little bit of a struggle. A couple reasons why I picked Japan, for some reason, I don't know why, my mom could probably tell you better, but when I was younger I had this sort of fantasy about going to Japan or like the Japanese culture and I really didn't study too much into it I just sort of had this sort of gut feeling I guess that I really wanted to go and like this opportunity especially when I was applying to schools and I picked Temple like very clearly Temple has a full campus in Japan as opposed to just any normal study abroad program so that heavily factored into my decision to go to Temple, but there are many other reasons why I'm going to Temple, and it's a great school, by the way. If you're looking for schools, check out Temple. Uh, other than that, I mean, I'm just so excited. I've taken two semesters of Japanese language classes at Temple, so that's going pretty well. So, of course, this is my first time leaving the country. I'm expecting a pretty big culture shock. You know, I'll obviously be standing out a little bit more in the crowd. This will be the first video in hopefully a series of videos that I will continue to make while I'm in Japan. I hope to sort of document my experiences, you know, show everyone at home all the cool things that I'm doing there. Like, this is as cool of an experience for my family as it is for me, which is really cool because um, I've never been outside of the country, I've never been this far away from my family for this long. It seems like it should be a lot scarier than it is, but I'm, I've just gotten to the point where I'm ready, and I'm really excited to go. I'm recording this on Saturday, I believe May 18th, and my flight takes off very, very early in the morning on the 20th, so that should be a lot of fun. I don't want to say too much in this area because I want this first video to be my process of getting to Japan. I will see you in Japan. Hey everyone, so I'm recording this on the 22nd of May, I'm sitting in my dorm room in Japan, so I made it. I want to start off by showing you a clip that I tried to record last night at about 6 p.m. I had gotten in a couple hours earlier, I had just gotten everything settled down, I figured I should record what's on my mind because I didn't want to lose anything that I was thinking about, but the reason I want to show this clip is because it shows me in, I think, a very true state. Leading up to this trip, I wasn't exactly wearing my emotions on my sleeve. I think my family noticed that, but hopefully if they watch this next clip, they understand that I was definitely thinking about them, even if it may not have been apparent before I left. This is what I attempted to record uh, yesterday at about 6 p.m. Hey guys, it's uh, it's the 21st in Tokyo time, it's about 7pm, I don't think I've slept in about 25 hours, I, I don't know, I, I contemplated just going to sleep and recording this sometime else, but I figured I'd just get everything off my mind, how I'm feeling after that trip. It was the longest airplane ride I've ever been on, um, by far, spent about five and a half hours in the air, getting to San Francisco, another 10 or so, probably closer to 11, 
get into Tokyo. Got into Tokyo about 1.30 Tokyo time. Um, my brain still being on East Coast time, that's about midnight for me. So now sitting here, of course, it's, uh, what, 6 a.m. for my family back home. So running low on sleep, and I'm definitely going to try to catch up on it tonight. I, I guess that's where... That's where the thing is right now. Like, I, I landed. I haven't really gotten a chance to do much. I'm really tired. My mind is just on my family right now. And I'm really just trying to stay strong because it's, it's day one. I really shouldn't be doing this this early. Um, but I, I know this is what I want. And I know that I'm going to have... A real good time while I'm here. It's just tough. I know it'll it'll be over soon. It'll go by really quickly. But this is a this is a big big jump for me. As far as traveling goes. Yeah. I'm going to get some good sleep tonight on this rock of a mattress I've got back here. It's, uh, it's a good time. I mean, honestly, I'm just going to get in the swing of things tomorrow. Hope I'm feeling better by then. So, I just want to clarify that I'm doing okay now. I've gotten out of that dark place. I think the main component that led me to there was that I had just traveled for a very long amount of time. I landed in Japan when it should have been midnight in my hometown, and yet I had to take a bus ride, go to the dorm, have a dorm tour, and then from there we were just kind of left on our own with no real guidance, and I was sent to this small room that to me feels very isolated. Um, and so I think that all sort of factored in, like as soon as I got to the door and started unpacking, I really just didn't feel motivated, but thankfully, and I can reassure you today with orientation, walking around, I've gotten much better. I know that I will be totally fine once I have things to do. Please just know that I'm doing okay. I've moved on from how I was when I got here, and to my family, if you're watching this, know that I'm still always thinking of you, no matter if I show it or not. Um, I hope that I don't have to cry again to convince you of that, but just know that I do truly miss you guys, but I will be home before you know it. This, I'm sure this will fly right by for all of us, and I'll be back there soon. Moving on to my experiences so far, it's been like nothing short of insane. It's one thing to be home and see videos of Japan and what Japan looks like, what their architecture is like, how their culture works, and it's another thing to be physically living in it, and I can't believe that it's happening still. I've only had good experiences so far. The orientation that we had went pretty smoothly. Um, I realized after I got the meal that they gave for lunch for the orientation that I hadn't eaten in 24 hours uh, because the last time I had eaten was on the plane. So that was interesting, but I'm sure now we have a little bit more free time. I'm planning to go uh, grocery shopping later tonight with uh, some new friends that I met. I think that's really cool too is everybody's really open to talking to each other, helping each other out and things like that. For my classes, I just today found out that I have two classes that are back to back. They have a 10 minute gap in between each other, but they are down a decently long road away from each other because they're in different buildings. So I'm going to have a really fun time basically running to my second class every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Speaking of getting to the campus, Wow, we took the train from Musashi Kosugi all the way to uh, Shirokane Takanawa. Uh, and wow, like 
I assumed that it would be busy because everybody was going to their jobs, but there probably was a point or two where I could lift up both of my feet and still get held up by the people around me. It was so crowded on that train. And then coming back, of course, it was a lot better because the rush hours are sort of 7 to 8 or 9 a.m. and like 5 to 8 p.m. So if you go on the train other times, it's usually okay. You might have to stand, but it's usually not as crowded as that was. That was insane. And luckily for me, I don't have any super early classes, so I think I'll be missing the rush hour for the most part. But that was an experience, and people really go through that every day. Like, I can't imagine anything like that in America. It's just... They all have an assumed responsibility to utilize the space that they're given, but not take up more than they need. We also took a trip to 7-Eleven. Um, made it very quick, so I didn't buy much. I uh, kind of struggled to read the katakana for like things like shampoo, um, the body wash here is body soap, but I think I made the, I'm pretty sure I made the right choices. <laughs> right now I'm just trying to like, I'll go shopping tonight and I think now it's just up to setting a budget, trying to figure out how much I can spend, and so on and so forth. That is going to wrap it up for this video. I don't want to make this too long. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.